Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of RVs with Gabby. I am so excited today to be showing you a brand new layout from Alliance, their Paradigm series. This is the 395 DS. Now one of my colleagues said DS, double suite, perhaps, and that's one of the awesome features on this unit. It has three, three places for people to sleep, two master bedrooms, and two full bathrooms. So let's check it out. All right, exterior of the unit still has their graphics package, a little bit upgraded for 2023. You can see the design slightly different. You have two very large awnings, one up front here by the only entrance. Um, there's an LP connect for your grill right there. And then moving down the unit, you've got this middle slide, and then they put a rear awning on the back end. Now this is not completely out and you can pitch adjust it slightly. I would say it's good and bad, right? Because if you have two families in this unit, which I think it's what it's meant for, or um, you'd have two separate spaces for them to hang out. But it's kind of funky that there's nothing directly in the middle for everybody to hang out. Um, they are known for their perf performance running gear and their benchmark chassis. Definitely look into more information on that. I'll try to put out a video for new RV owners about that more, more in depth, but this is such a big unit that I want to get through it and I don't want to miss anything. So. Around the back of the Alliance, you've got a rear ladder that gets you up on their roof. It is PVC, which is super um, sun reflective and easy to patch repair on the road. Now you're pre-wired for a backup camera. One thing that is missing from this model that I did just do the North Point and I'm kind of bummed Alliance didn't do this is the second entrance directly into the rear bathroom. So maybe for 24 Alliance, we could add a door there because that would be a really great feature to bring it up to standards with all the other ones that are in this price point in this like style. All right, you can see my auto leveling is down. This unit has actually been prepped for somebody who's picking it up um, come tomorrow. So I wanted to get out here and shoot this video before it leaves. Back here, you have got some little storage. They, they try to add all the storage they can. Now, this is also a shoot. So on the Sun Seeker, one of the sun seekers, I love that motorhome because it has a space for the garbage. And that's what this is. I'll show you when we get inside. It's a cutout in the countertop that you can put your garbage can back here. And then you never have to drag that dirty garbage can through your camper, which is great. On the back end here, it is a 50 amp coach. You do have three ACs. Alliance is known for their 15 amp breakers on their ACs. So you can run all three on a 50 amp service. Usually each breaker is 20 on a, tra on a fifth wheel with three ACs. And so you can only run two condensers at a time. Um, back here, you've got the rest of your pass-through storage up front, right? Your basement storage, as they call it. Your wet bay is right here, super easy and color coded with all the tank drops. And it looks like you've got two gray tanks on this one, probably one for each bathroom or maybe one's for the kitchen and one's for the bathrooms. Um, right over here is an access door. Love that on the Paradigm. They make it super easy to get back there. Everything is color coded and you have independent shutoffs for each water valve. So if you have any issues with something leaking, you don't have to completely shut off all your water and, and be unable to use it. By the way, I'm 5'2 and I'm standing under this door and I can fit pretty perfectly underneath there. All right, let's head on inside. Look at that headroom can walk through here i do have ashley before we go inside by the way my girl ashley is shooting this video and she's the one who sold this unit <laughs> um this is your undercarriage storage now it looks like this one was not prepped for a generator but normally um you would get the generator prep done at the factory level so you've got extra storage down here it looks like it's got the solar charge controller there do you know how many solar panels is on this ashley i think it's one standard right 190 watt panel I will definitely put down below in the description exactly how many solar comes standard with this unit now that it's a 2023. I think they're doing that. You've got outside speakers. And now we've gone around the entire outside. Let's check out the inside. Um, real quick, just wanted to say if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please take the time to do so and hit like on this, on this video. Comment down below something you love about this layout or in general, just throw me some love because every little like helps. Okay, solid step is four steps. This is so cool. Okay, so my tech today, I was like, where's the handle? And she was like, just, just pull. <laughs> She's right over there. So this handle is super nice and makes it really easy for somebody who needs that safety bar to come in and out of the 
fifth wheel. A lot of times they're attached to the top there and you have to get up on the first or second step to be able to reach it. So this one really is truly accessible for everybody. Okay, real quick, I'll stand here. Ashley, show them the kitchen area. So this beautiful kitchen is a U-shaped kitchen. We've got completely residential appliances here. There is a four burner cooktop and then right below is gonna be your residential insignia oven. Look, you could cook a whole turkey in there for Thanksgiving. And when you have this many people in this fifth wheel, you definitely will wanna do that. You've got a large insignia residential microwave. Check that out way better than your little popcorn microwave um, that you see in the travel trailers. A ton of storage throughout, so lots of cabinets, lots of drawers down below, and it is a solid surface countertop. You've got a beautiful big stainless steel sink here with a pull faucet, and then you've got this cutout that I was talking about that leads to that, that outside storage that has your garbage can. So great little feature, you just don't have to deal with a garbage can. All right, behind me is a residential Norcold fridge, double door fridge, beautiful design. Looks like 21 cubic feet off the top of my head. Oh, now how do I... There we go. Okay, we've got an ice maker here. And it's very cold right now because it's been on. Right next to it is going to be a pantry. I know everybody needs that pantry. Super nice where this is located. Sometimes people put their pantries up against that back wall, or brands I should say. And then this storage area is like lost to whatever mechanical stuff is under there. So I love that they put this in on the slide out and you can fully access the entire pantry. So if you want to put you know, if you've got a big bin of dog food or something like that, you can fit that there. Take a trip to BJ's, get all the big snacks, fit them right in there. All right, your dining area. Two more chairs should be located under the master bedroom bed. They are folding chairs, but you've got this lovely little um, freestanding table and chairs. I love, this is a big feature on the Alliance Paradigms, guys. Huge atrium windows, just beautiful. It really brings in all the light, makes it open and just a gorgeous, more residential feel. Um, super, super neat. Here, let's, let's go here first and then we'll go up there. So Entertainment Center is right next door um, with your living room area. So I love that they do that separation, right? Your kitchen is over there. There's nobody cooking right here next to your TV getting in your way. You've got a set of uh, a sofa here and a sofa there. Now this is a set of recliners, it looks like, but they're the uh, kind of, you know, I really love you, you love me recliners. There's no uh, barrier in case you're angry at each other. <laughs> Um, looks like that's a full pullout sofa. You can see it's all flush slides, no carpet. I love that about the Paradigm. And they do put some storage up above the slide out as well as up above the entertainment center. Large, large smart TV here with your um, big fireplace that will put out a good amount of heat. Okay, before we head into the master in the back, we'll check out upstairs. Here, let me take that camera from you for a second. Everybody say hi to Ashley. <laughs> I'm gonna go up here with it and just show you real quick. So up here on top of the rear master bedroom, you're gonna have this um, space, this, I don't wanna call it a crawl space because it's definitely pretty big. You could probably fit, I would say four Gabby's. I'm 5'2 and 150 pounds. You could fit four of me across this bed here. So definitely could jam a couple kids up here if they wanna hang out and stay away from the adults. Um, and as you can see, I am standing on a pretty neat little ladder system. So instead of it being like, straight up against the wall, which is kind of scary. They do it at an angle, which is really nice. And they've even got this little storage. It's, it, this reminds me of like cupboard under the stairs with Harry Potter. I was thinking the same. <laughs> All right, let me give you that back. And we'll head on into the rear master, which does not lack or disappoint at all. Check it out. So you've got a queen bed in this one. Um, again, they put windows on the uh, slide out for the bed slide so you get that light you get all that brightness coming in here right a lot of times it's closed off and it feels really dark so beautiful bright colors you've got the his and hers um hanging closets as well as all the dresser storage here and they do this little secret compartment which is soft clothes handguns jewelry anything you want to hide in here you can definitely tuck that right in coming into the rear bathroom i'll sit down on the toilet so this one has porcelain foot flush toilet here, uh, right next to a nice big window in case you gotta air it out. <laughs> you have, um, looks like epoxy countertops, I love that. 
stainless steel sink, so no plastic in here, and you do have a medicine cabinet. Now they have another window up there, which is pretty neat, that you can open. So probably if you don't, if the fan's not doing enough for you, you can um, open up that, that window as well. But definitely enough room to sit comfortably on the toilet to get ready in front of the sink here and then stepping into the shower so you all can see. Love this shower for people that are super tall. Obviously I'm 5'2", so it really doesn't matter for me. I can shower pretty much anywhere. But for those who are above six feet, this rear bathroom really does wonders for people being able to step in here and comfortably. I bet you Shaq, I bet you Shaq could shower in here. <laughs> He's what, seven foot four? <laughs> he could do it. So, all right, that is my, so that's most of the fifth wheel, right? You're thinking, what more could there be, Gabby? But it just keeps going, and I'm so excited about it. <laughs> well, only I get excited about floor plants. Okay, bathroom. Pro to this bathroom. Oh, the AC is blowing in here. So the pro to this bathroom is everybody comes in and sees the Alliance, and their biggest complaint to me was actually where the toilet was because it was up against this corner here. So now they've moved this toilet and it is back on this wall. I don't know if that's just for this model or if that's for 2023, but bravo Alliance, keep it going because that was some feedback I got from customers is that it was like weird that the toilet was right up against that wall. So anyway, porcelain foot flush toilet in here as well. You've got a little bit of um, storage for linens and things, probably have to roll the towels and stack them this way. And then a medicine cabinet right here, as well as another nice epoxy countertop with some storage down below. Oh, that'll fit a nice garbage can as well. But where, oh, where is my toilet paper roll? I don't see it. <laughs> um, shower here is a little bit shorter. Shack probably can't shower in here, but um, I'd say I'm 5'2", so maybe six, six foot, a little bit over six foot could fit in here. There's not a big uh, step to get in. You've got a nice teak wood seat here, so maybe for the taller folk, if you want to shower up here, that will work. You have a wine guard system on here. You are prepped and ready for 4G LTE if you want to swivel that phone. If you see that in your fifth wheel, guys, you just have to buy the gateway box and get it installed for the 4G um, to, to get hooked up to 4G. But you do have a Wi-Fi extender on board already. <clears throat> okay, Jack and Jill entrance into the master bedroom in the back now. Actually, in the front now. This one has a king bed, same thing, windows all around the bed, which is nice. You've got ports on either side for your phones, places for your drinks, that kind of deal. Same thing, another dresser here with your little secret um, private storage up top. Pretty deep drawers here to fit everything that you need. And you do have a sitting, is it on this side? Just on this side. So a little sitting stool that has a little storage under here that you can also like take your shoes on and off, which is super nice. I love this benchmark chassis that they build at Alliance because it has a drop frame in the front and I can step into the closet without stubbing my toes. So instead of the closet line being right here and having to step up into it, I can walk right in, no problem. Now, negative. Hanging storage, somebody pointed this out to me recently. You've got this hanger that's gonna hang like this, but that means that half of the, half of the piece of clothing is like sticking over this. So it may not be as, <clears throat> it may not be as useful as, as you would think. Um, if you are planning on using this, I would probably unscrew it and move it forward a little bit or get one of those extension rods that, so that you can actually like properly lay your clothes because this may not work as well. Um, washer dryer hookups on either side of me. So if you want to get a washer dryer installed, it is uh, prepped for that. So very nice. And you've got all that shoe storage, you know, for your large shoe collection that I never wear. Um, and that's pretty much it. So this is the 395 DS by Alliance. Their paradigm line, sorry to squeeze by you, Ashley. I absolutely, again, absolutely love it. Now you are on a big, beefy unit, guys. You need a huge truck to pull this. Your pin, your payload capacity, so, the, so what's sitting on the bed of your truck is 2,900 pounds. So you're gonna need at least a one ton truck to pull this, okay? So don't mess around. Um, definitely do your research on which trucks can pull it. 2,900 on the payload. It is 13 and change dry weight. And it is also a little over 42 feet in length. So definitely big mama. She's got one, two, three, four slide outs, four oh. slide outs, two awnings, two full bathrooms, three bedrooms total. You could sleep one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and nine, depending on how many people you want to squeeze up there. So you can fit the whole family. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy camping.